Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you Transfer Rumours slash Roundup Episode 7. Now, because it's the Euros, there hasn't been a lot of confirmed deals, but we have one today, and that is Pjanic has completed his move to Juventus. Like I said a few episodes ago, Damasio tweeted this out, saying it was basically done, Juve had paid it, he went for his medical, and now it's all confirmed. So they finally, repl finally replaced Perlo a year after he's left, and I've, I've been through what I think about this player, I think he's fantastic, and he'll add to an already strong midfield that Juventus have. And uh, we'll see what the futures of Pereira and Pogba are, whether either of those will leave the club. We'll see. Right, now on to the rumours. And the first one I've got is, uh, is it Dawood? Uh, Liverpool have apparently bid 20 million, but the club want to uh, delay a bit like Markovic when Liverpool uh, signed Markovic and they sent him back on loan. That's kind of what uh, Moan Gladbach is that how you say it? Whatever, I'm terrible with names. Anyway, but yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to get him back for a year, according to the Daily Mail. But uh, there's a few outlets that have said that Liverpool have bid 20 million. And uh, he's 20. He's a he's a solid midfielder, like kind of a a bit of a, a workhorse, like a box-to-box -box sort of midfielder. But he's a good passer as well. I don't know a huge deal about him, but he's had a very solid season, as a lot of... Uh, Gladbach players have and uh, he's linked to Liverpool 20 million we'll see if it goes through now something that a club director has came out and said his future will be decided this week and that is Henrik Mkhitaryan linked to Arsenal linked to Manchester United and uh, Michael Zork their sporting director Borussia Dortmunds that is has said that his future will be announced this week now as Armenia are not in the Euros um uh, he can transfer basically. This is like Pjanic because uh, Bosnia didn't make it to the Euros. It's easier for the club to go out and transfer them because they they don't have any commitments. Whereas players playing in the Euro, it's going to be hard to transfer them. So within a week, we'll find out if he will move or if he'll stay. If he stays, then they're going to end up doing what they did with Lewandowski, and that's letting him go for free at the end of his contract. So. I think the likelihood is he will go unless he, he pens a new contract. But I think that's unlikely at this stage. So I reckon he's either going to Arsenal or Man United. We'll have to wait and see. Next player I've got linked is Babu Ab 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 Babukar. Is that what you say? Uh, Everton, a striker, 24-year-old. He scored seven goals last season for his club. And um, he's linked with a 10 million move for Everton. This would, well, most likely be a Lukaku replacement because... Obviously, he wants to leave. Everton didn't do well this season. And uh, he, he stuck with them. And now feels like he, he's reached that next level. And uh, that's fair enough. So, Babuka, or however you say Honestly, I am so bad at pronouncing names. But yeah, 10 million linked. Don't know too much about him. Could he handle it in the Premier League? Maybe. I mean, Lukaku came from a foreign league and did very well. So, uh, they, you know, they, they've had a good track record well, I suppose they got him from Chelsea, but you, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, it could be a fantastic buy. Next player we've got is Diafra Sacco, linked to Sunderland. They did put a bid in, but it got rejected. I think the original bid was 10 million. Now they've put a 12 million bid in, and uh, this would be a fantastic signing for Sunderland. It would take some of the pressure off Jermaine Defoe. Obviously, he's their main scorer by quite a distance. And uh, if West Ham get one of their striker targets, they've bid for Lacazette, they've bid for, uh, bid for Backer. Bid for um was it no it wasn't Troy Deeney I'm pretty sure they bid for someone else was it Berahino or they're linked to a lot of strikers basically they want another striker so uh, D if they sign one which I'm sure they will Diafra Sacco will be lower down the pecking order so it makes sense for him to go to Sunderland where he'd be number two alongside Jermaine Defoe uh, probably be playing two up top anyway so it wouldn't matter if he's number two for Jermaine Defoe and I think that would be a good move for all parties twelve million. Fair price, and uh, yeah, that would be a good deal in my opinion. Next player I've got linked is Theo Walcott to a £25 million move to Liverpool. Liverpool desperately need wingers, and uh, I think this could be a good signing. Walcott's got obvious quality, and he's wanted to play as a striker for Arsenal, and uh, it didn't quite work out too well. He, he did really well when he first started, but then kind of tailored away, and the fans got on his back quite a bit, and he lost a lot of confidence. And, uh, yeah, I think this would be a good move. I think Theo Walcott would be good for Liverpool. Maybe, you know, kind of expensive, but people generally forget the fee if the player does well. 
So um, this is one I could see happening. Like Liverpool like English players, and uh, this could be something that could turn Theo Walcott's career around because uh, it's it stagnated a bit in the last couple of years. So yeah, I think this is a this is a deal that might go through. I'm sure Arsenal would accept 25 million for Walcott since they're going after. Uh, Jamie Vardy, of course, so if they get him, there's the striker covered. Uh, they're linked with Mkhitaryan, Mares. So if they got one of them, then the right wing's covered. So it makes sense for this move to go through, and I think it will. Next player, we've got Koulibaly, who I think I've spoken about. If not, I should have done ages ago because he's been linked to Chelsea for weeks. And um, Napoli got a bit annoyed with him because... Well, he got annoyed with Napoli as well because apparently they weren't telling him anything. They weren't telling him that there was interest from other clubs and uh, he got annoyed at that and said that he should be told because he, he, he would want to move to a bigger club. And Napoli, the president, got very annoyed with that. But uh, yeah, he's heavily linked to Chelsea and it looks likely that, that this deal will be closed. I'm not sure if he's at the Euros. If he is, then obviously you'll have to wait until France are fully out. But if he isn't, then it could be confirmed before then. But generally, this would be a solid signing. He's had a very good uh, season for Napoli. And um, it, it, it's time for him to you know, take that next level. And uh, Chelsea would be a great club for him to do that. Conte knows Syria very well. So uh, yeah, this, this is one that just looks like it's a matter of time, in my opinion. Next one, we've got a crazy uh, story here, and this is uh, Marco Verratti linked to Manchester United. Now, I would love him, and I'm sure Man United would love him. He'd be a fantastic buy. He's very underrated. He's a small midfielder, but he's very, very strong, and he's great at what he does, which is um, he's kind of the anchor of PSG. But the fee reported is £79 million. Now, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't bid that for one thing because that would be almost a world record fee for a defensive midfielder. Um, also, I don't think no matter what we bid, PSG would sell because he's that key. And uh, I don't think Verratti would, you know, force a move because I think he's happy at PSG. So this is one that I would love to see, but I just can't see it happening. And uh, it, it was brought about because apparently Ibrahimovic uh, asked Manchester United because... It's looking likely that he's uh, signed for us, so he, he's asked us to try and get Verratti because they've got a good friendship. But yeah, the the fee report seventy nine million. Don't think we'll bid that, and I just can't see this one coming off. I don't think PSG would let us sign him, like, and I don't think the players going to disrespect PSG and force a move. So this one's very unlikely, in my opinion. Next player, we, I would love it though, but very unlikely. Next player, we've got Nelito. He is linked to. I should have put this down, and I'm sure I have. I think it's Liverpool. Why the hell? No, it's West Ham. I couldn't even read my own writing there. Oh, my God. But, yeah, Nelito uh, played for Spain today, actually, in a 1-0 win against Czech Republic. He played fairly well on the wing. And um, I think he's 28-29, and the fee reported is about 10... No, it's not. I think it's 15 to 18 million. Barcelona were linked and uh, it was rumoured that they were going to release his clothes because I think that's his buyout clothes, 15 to 18 million. And uh, yeah, this would be a solid signing for West Ham. They kind of do need wingers and uh, this is one that has international pedigree. He's playing in the Euros right now and he's had two, I think two, two, three maybe, solid seasons, and he's a very underrated player, so this would be a great buy, he's kind of the age Paye was when they bought him, not really comparing him to Paye, they're different sort of players, but I'm just saying, you know, he's that age bracket where Paye did well for West Ham, so Nelito could be similar, I think he might be turning 30 actually, he's, he's either 28, 29 or 30, he's around that age anyway, and I think it would be a good signing should it come off, and the last one I've got here isn't a player, it's a manager, Former Manchester United player Yap Stam is now the manager of Blackburn, which is good to see. It's nice seeing former players going into management and uh, seeing how they progress, see how well they do in their managerial career. And uh, this is something that Ryan Geek should do, in my opinion. Uh, he still hasn't took... It, well, his future hasn't been confirmed whether he's going to leave Man United or whether he's going to take a coaching role. We've offered him any position apart from assistant manager, but... It'd be nice for him to do this. Take a club that's in a lower league and try and progress. Try and gain that experience and then try and get to the bigger club. So, yeah, I wish you Abstam all the best. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what he can do for Blackburn. But hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And, yeah, peace.